platform up. Um, even if you're not active and you're not playing today, I'd like you to just be standing and moving around so we're not sitting, just so you feel more active. So let's all, let's all come on out here. If you're playing, guys, just come out and I can, I can use you to demonstrate. All right. Great. So I've what do you guys mostly do for your warm-up? What do we do normally for our warm-ups? What are the, the traditional things in the Basel world? Warm-ups, what do we do? Jogging. What else? Stre oh, I love that you said games. That's awesome. Some static dribbling, some stretching. So my idea is to show you how the warm-up is one of the most important parts of modern basketball. There's very little benefit to stretching, even dynamically. So instead, I play a bunch of different tag games and just fun activations, and it's all focused on the idea of repetition without repetition. And this is a saying from Nikolai Bernstein, an uh, uh, individual who did a lot of work in, in the motor science space. So we want repetition, that's really important, but we don't want the same reps, and that applies to everything. So guys that are playing, all you're gonna do is you're gonna be with a partner, and you get one point every time you touch their knees, and you can move anywhere in the half court. You guys, as you're watching, your job is to think about how to change the game in about 15 seconds. I want you to change a constraint. So maybe instead of touching the knees, maybe they touch their back. Have a think. Guys, go. That's it. One point every time you touch. Okay, stop. Excellent. So I'm going to go very fast. There's no need. Once you guys see it, it's done. I'm not going to stay on it long. I'm just going to give you as much as possible. How could we change this? How could we change it? What could we do? What could we do to manipulate the constraints? Dribble, fantastic example. So instead of doing static dribbling, which has no transfer to the game, doing two ball dribbling, static, now we can get a dribble in. And what we're doing is there's some basic perception action coupling because they're having to make decisions while dribbling at the same time. So guys, it's the same thing now, the same game, dribbling. Play against a different partner. Play against someone different, go. Quick, 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 let's go. Think about a different constraint, coaches. And I'm gonna pick people randomly so everyone's gotta have an idea. Think about a different constraint. Here we go, quick, play. Okay, hold. What have we got, guys? How can we change this? What do you think? What rules, my man, what do you think? Remind me your name. Viet. Viet, what do you think? Uh, don't worry if you don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, so what I want this to be is an environment which is safe where you can make mistakes. And I want you guys to talk more, okay? As this is, I know this is gonna be uncomfortable and culturally you might not be used to it, but as this is going, I want you to be talking to each other about what you're seeing and what we could change. You guys the same. What can we do? How can we change this? What do you got, Eric? You got the point if you, if you put the hand on the knee, okay? Okay. You got point, if you go one, two. Fantastic. I love that, and you do two quick ones. Awesome, go. Try that, go. Fantastic, Eric. Great. Okay, hold. Excellent. So, guys, what are you noticing as they're doing this? What have you noticed with the environment in the gym? What are they doing that we don't see in a traditional warm-up? What do you think, man? What are, they, what are they doing? You're having fun. They're smiling. Okay? How much fun do players have when you say, go jog, do 10 laps? It, also, we've got to look at how are they moving? How are you guys moving? You're doing movements which you're gonna do in the game. So it's the best warm up because we're exposing them to the solutions that they're actually gonna experience in basketball, right? Now, I just want, I'm gonna go through some different constraint ideas for this. You guys will be able to make notes later on the video camera because obviously to get all this, you're gonna need to watch it back. You could dribble only with the left hand. That could be an example of a constraint. We could change the space. 
So for instance, guys, let's say Eric, you and your partner, you can only play in this circle. What do you think that will do by changing the space? What will that do? Kasha? It will, absolutely, because they're closer together. Exactly. What else does it do? It makes it more challenging. It's harder. More pressure. Exactly. Exactly. So what we're doing is this is a completely different way to coach because instead of me teaching them how to dribble, instead what we're doing is we're creating an environment where they can learn. It's very different. So instead of me teaching techniques, telling them how to move, you guys, they're problem solving, they're doing it for themselves with the right constraints. But as we can see, we need the constraints to be good because if the constraints aren't effective, they don't learn, right? So if we just play tag for five minutes, it's useless. If we just said dribble, touch their knees, it's useless because it's not specific enough. But if we can change it and make it really specific, that's the difference. So guys, what we're gonna do now is you're gonna be in threes. All right, I'm with you guys. I'm the shield. Eric, my job is to protect you, and we have to try and tag him, but the shield can protect however, okay? And you're dribbling, both dribbling. Groups of three, guys, go. So now, all we've done, go, go, go. We've changed the constraints. So it's three, shield, tag. Yep. Guys, you can go four. Two taggers, yeah, yeah. go on four, go on four. Awesome, great. Uh, without, without is good, my man. Yes, excellent, done, done. Just a tag, yep. Beautiful. Okay, hold. Stop, great. How can we change this, guys? How can we manipulate constraints? What else could we do to shield tag? Make this more specific. Yes. Absolutely, keep changing. Keep changing groups, keep changing the roles. Why? Well, playing against a really big player is different to playing against a small player, a quick player against a slow player. So what we want to do and what you're going to see over the next few days is we're going to be constantly changing the groups and the pairs. So instead of players always being stuck playing against the same people, they have to adapt more, right? So every minute we want to change. Every minute we want to change. Here's a really simple one. All we're going to do, guys, let's mix the groups after Let's do it after, I'll just show the next one. We're gonna remove the basketball of the defender. So now the defender and the shield have no ball. What does this do? Well now it's more realistic like the game. Because the defense, it's gonna be easier for them. It's gonna be way more challenging for the offense. Okay, go. The defender, the defender will steal the ball, exactly. Defender, steal the ball, go. Beautiful. Oh, did you see that movement? How did he move? How is that going to transfer to basketball? Getting over a screen. Okay, so naturally we're getting in some of the same things that will happen. Okay, hold. Now, guys, it's the same thing. We're going to start at a basket, okay? And the offense will have the ball. The shield will be here. And we got the defender here. Now, Five seconds, the offense has to stay alive against the defense for five seconds. After five seconds, the offensive player can score. And the shield, your job is to help them to score, but you can't score yourself. Okay. Keep changing roles. Once you've all had one repetition, guys, mix the groups up and just move around the gym, play something else, some, play someone else. Go. Great. Very nice, three, two, and now you can score. Perfect, now you can score, great. Guys, you can do the same thing on here, yep. Awesome. Shield, exactly. And now you change roles each time. And he can score straight or after five seconds? After five seconds, after five. Guys, you can go on that one, yep, yep. Think about how we could change this, coaches. Think about how we could change this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Five seconds, stay alive, and then you can play one-on-one. -on -one. Yep. That's it, Eric. Excellent. 
Excellent. Great. OK, hold. You guys get the idea. So all we've done now is we started with a tag game, and very quickly we've changed constraints, and we've got to this. And this is still the lot. This would be like one of the last things in the warm up. So we're actually playing one on one. So we could change the constraints more. We could say you could only score in the smile or a three pointer. We could, we, could, we could say that, right? So what we're doing by taking away the option to shoot mid ranges, we make the offense more aggressive getting to the rim. So that's what that constraint would do. We could say you must always start in a new location. So instead of always being on the three, maybe sometimes they start here, maybe sometimes under the basket. So by, we get more variability by always changing the location. So any questions we have on the warm up from what we've just seen? So this approach, guys, Again, think about how you could change constraints. Just with this, if you think creatively, there are probably like 20 different things you could do within this. You could make it two groups at a time. You could have two offense, two shields, two defense. There's loads we could do, loads. So we are going to change. Let's all go to this basket over here, just so we can change location a little bit. <clears throat> 